this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother. Sacred harbinger. Awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us. And arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. The old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. And we've blown up a few monsters on the way out. Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he'll come around given time. Thought you said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I got sand in my nanopolymer weave. Saving my energy so we need it. Uh, my lawyers tell me I'm not liable for any evil related injuries. Get it done any way we know how. That's the 
spirit? Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? security guards in my parking garage. A round of warm bodies coming in. That looks good. That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. Watch closely. Love the effort. This shouldn't take long. Knock the fuh, you know the rest. A moment. I am a sorcerer supreme, you know. Seem insistent on attacking me. Uh, guess we're not done yet. It's almost going too well. Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Huh, don't mention it. Uncle Tony's got your back. My humble thanks. Let me show you the way. Adage goes, if at first you don't succeed. Who's running the show here? I think we pissed them off. Got a spell for that, maybe? Interesting. Spell have changed the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan? You can't make it happen in the next ten seconds. I'm not interested. Best interest to quit now.
was really something. And all you under arrows, maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? Sure, why not? That's the last of them, which is good. I might have told Pepper I was just stepping outside the restaurant to take a quick call. And yet I'm the one who's still single. That'll work. Nothing personal. Okay, maybe a little personal. Honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. Wanda. The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Ah. Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Well, you did the big green guy proud. My homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. We will never forsake her. Everything's solid so far? Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the Hydragoons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not while you fail to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys?
It's about time. Oh, that Davenport was at least a century old. What a list. that in time. Surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. You've had this coming! Love the effort. Something. Someone. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons. Harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme! Be silent! Be still! What just happened? Ow! Be gone! No! A fellow daughter of Transia. Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, 
One of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough! You're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. up and takes a bite out of you, don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade, be nice. Always am. with every breath. Has it been so long? I 
I know this place. In my dreams, it was always empty. But now I sense... I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter. You make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute. And Caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damp here? Daywalkers were a myth even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampier. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondagore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really going to love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm the witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but neither works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh, man. Never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us. Stories. That's Eliana. Brilliant. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So, welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show's about to begin. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. Was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? 
fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? Smiting the dragon mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some sorcerer supreme. It must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. Alato. Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force pushing against the wards. That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... well... I'll just let her show you. So young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. Hey, 
At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. between you and the Sanctum. Looks good to see. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the world of protection. Impressive. Never seen that before. For the mother! Payback's gonna be fun. All right, that hurt a bit. That did not slow me down. The gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. You do not have to show off for me, Blade. It's on! Fanatics are always the same. Get ready.
It's remarkable how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. Let's you may wake up with a slight hit. want to know what that beast is. It calls itself Venom. Until now, a heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. bother us again.
walk in the light. I feel stronger already. Ah, Monoforms are for the weak! Of your mother's children, so chatty. Thankfully, no. be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. Break my resolve. Mother blesses us with power. Mother blesses us with strength. We protect the mother and are rewarded with your meat. And to think Lilith was a vegetarian. Mother. 
mother abandons you. We will crack your tiny bones. Not out of this yet. You should not have come here, Nimrod. Your friends cannot help you. <laughs> but your brains shall be ours. Life will carry you onward. Let us see if they have an answer for this. You have a chance to No time to lick our wounds! Milk around here. How many times is that? I am not doing so well. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Size does not always equal strength. No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet.
Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> What happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Doc, that's just his way of saying he cares! Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Oh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again. Putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Thanks for the gift, Tony. I think you'll like it. It's a limited edition. A limited edition what? Oh, you'll see. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room.
advance. No! Hold the line! I can stop her! Only I can stop her! 